that's the one that gives me the greatest concern. The head of the Los Angeles Police Department taking the rare step of publicly questioning the actions of his officers before an investigation is done, after three men died during or after police encounters last week. This cluster of events, while miles apart, deeply concerned me. I know it did the families that were involved, as well as other members of our community. To Carr Smith, Keenan Anderson, and Oscar Sanchez, dead after interactions with the LAPD. Smith and Sanchez shot by officers. Anderson dying after his heart stopped at a hospital hours after police used a stun gun on him. Oh, they're trying to kill me! Each of them suffering apparent mental episodes or from the effects of drugs and already prompting repeat training in the LAPD. These cases are a stark reminder that mental health continues to be an ongoing struggle for many people in our community throughout the city of Los Angeles. Takar Smith died January 2nd after his wife called police to tell them he was at her apartment in violation of a restraining order. She said he was not taking his medication for schizophrenia and might get violent. Relax, relax. relax Can we get a taser up? Taser. Relax, sir. Hey, just hey. relax. Hey, don't grab anything. Hey, come here. Hey, relax. Relax. Over the course of a 15-minute interaction, police never called or discussed calling the department's specialized mental health unit despite knowing his history. It, without exception, uh, our mental evaluation unit, which we invest in substantially, to be a call center 24 hours a day, uh, expectations is this type of pattern of information would result in a consult and information that may have helped and support the officer's difficult task before them. After pressure from the families and outside groups, the police chief said he decided to release the videos well ahead of the department's own 45-day deadline after an incident. He also says the department's training coordinator saw clips of the encounter with Takar Smith with intent to take lessons to officers in fresh training on dealing with people experiencing mental health challenges. Now, the police chief did say that all three families had an opportunity to view those videos before they came out to the public. While he is not passing judgment specifically on the officer's conduct, he certainly came very close to it in the case of Dakar Smith. Del. James Packard, Force Live in L.A. tonight. James, thank you very much.